India is a developing country. India is underdeveloped country. India is a poor country. Aren't you tired of hearing these things over and over again? So when will India finally become developed country? Let's first look at Qatar, the richest country in the world. Doesn't it look highly advanced and modern? What do you say? Is it a developed country? No, Qatar is still considered a developing country. Most of us assume that money is what determines whether a country is developed or not. But there are some other factors at play here. So it becomes important for us to know what really makes a country developed. The five factors which you can see on the screen are considered for a country to be called a developed country. We will be looking at the bare minimum which is required for India to achieve that much desired developed tag. Number 1. The country must have a post-industrial economy. Matlab ye hua ki economy service sector pe nirbhar karti hai. In India's case, we already have achieved this. Service sector makes up 60% of our GDP which is more than the required 50%. Number 2. Infant mortality should be low. Lower than 10 per 1000 births. In India, around 40 children out of 1000 die before they celebrate their first birthday. That's a very bad number. So how do we improve the situation? Luckily, we don't need to look at other countries for answer. Kerala recently achieved a child mortality rate of 6 per 1000, which is as good as USA. Even India overall is improving fast. In last 25 years, we have managed to reduce IMR by 38. We should be able to achieve the target of 10 by the year 2037. Number 3. Literacy should be definitely above 90%. 74% of Indians are literate as per 2011 census. But this will easily go up very soon as India's youth literacy rate has already exceeded 90%, which means that the people in the age bracket of 15 to 24 have already reached a good enough literacy level. The literacy rate of children below 15 years of age is even better. India as a whole should reach 90% by 2026. Number 4. Human Development Index Human Development Index is a composite index. That is, it looks at a lot of factors to come up with the level of development of human resources in a country. 0.8 is considered the minimum cutoff to be called a developed country. India, with a score of 0.609, has medium level of development. If we achieve all the above points, then there is no doubt India will reach 0.8 in no time. Number 5 Although money isn't the only criteria for becoming developed, Pesa still bold there. And becoming a rich country will take India a long time. India's per capita income is currently $7,224. Although there is no particular threshold beyond which you suddenly become developed, but lot of economists consider a country should have a per capita income of at least $25,000, which means India will have to triple the income of our people. How long will it take for that to happen? Well, this is the tricky part. We are predicting future by looking at the present trends. India's per capita income grew more than 10% this year. If this level of high growth continues, it won't even take India 15 years to become a high income country. But as countries become richer, it becomes more difficult to grow fast. So we need much more conservative estimate. If India manages to grow its per capita income by 7% each year while maintaining low inflation for 20 years, in 2037, India will have an average income of $27,954, which would be enough. But that's the best case scenario. If inflation slips out of hands or a recession strikes the economy, it can even take up to 40 years. 
but that is a super conservative estimate. Let's take a moderate view. If India manages a real per capita growth of 5%, then it can reach the magical figure of $25,000 in 2043. Our dream of seeing a developed India is just 26 years away. Share this video with your friends, family and especially those people who say is desh ka kuch nahi ho sakta and subscribe to be a part of the Brainchild family.